Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So for our next example, a 180 kN force is directed from point A to negative 4, 1 meters to point B, negative 3, 5 meters, 6 meters. Determine its rectangular components and compute its direction cosines. So of course, with respect to the coordinate axis. So first, we have to locate point A to negative 4. So here, then 1, forward 1. So that should be point A to negative 4, 1. Point B is negative 3, positive 5, then positive 6. So it should be somewhere here. So we form a box with AB as the diagonal so that we can analyze the components. So the force is directed forward, forward along Z, upward, upward along Y, and leftward along x so meaning it is only the x component that is expected negative here both y and the z components are expected positive so let's evaluate the components of distance namely terminal so b is the terminal point a is the starting point so negative 3 minus 2 so this is fx xb minus xa is equal to negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 that's why the the x component of the force is negative then yb minus ya is 5 minus negative 4 that would be positive 9 that's why the y component is positive so it is 9 then the z component of distance is z sub b terminal 6 minus initial 1 so it is also 5 positive 5 so z sub b minus y a is minus g sub g sub b minus uh, z sub a is equal to 6 minus 1 so it is 5 g sub b minus y sub b y sub g, g sub b minus g sub a so it is equal to 5 so that we can now compute the distance square root of negative 5 square plus 9 square plus 5 square so the distance is square root of 131 meters so this time we write the force into vector form so that we can easily compute the components so fx is f x component of distance divided by distance fx is 180 times negative 5 over square root of 131 so the x component of the force is negative 78.63 kilonewtons fy is magnitude of the force times z component y component of distance which is yb minus ya divided by distance so fy is equal to 180 times 9 divided by square root of 131 so fy is equal to 141.5 kilonewtons then fz is Magnitude of the force, F, quantity Z component of distance, G sub B minus G sub A divided by distance. So it is 180 times 5 over square root of 131. So 180 times 5 over square root of 131. So it is positive 78.63. So for the direction cosines, so we simply compute cosine of theta x, cosine theta y, and cosine theta z, not the angle because we are required for the direction cosines. So remember that fx is f cosine theta x, so therefore fx negative 78.63 divided by 180 is the direction cosine or direction cosine theta, cosine theta x. So cosine theta x is negative 0.4368. Then Fy, 141.5 equals F cosine theta Y. So 141.5 divided by 180, that's cosine of theta Y. 
So cosine theta y is 0.7861. Then Fz, which is 78.63, equals F cosine theta z. So 78.63 equals 180 cosine of theta z. So, cosine of theta z is equal to 0.4368, just like that, except that the sign is positive. So, again, to check our work, checking method 1, so let's evaluate square root of negative 78.63, quantity negative 78.63 square, plus 141.5 square, plus 78.63 square, and that is approximately equal to 180, so... That means the computed components are correct. Then, second, we add the squares of this direction cosines. Should be, that should be equal to more or less 1. Check our work. And the result is really almost equal to 1. So that checks our solution. So let's proceed to problem 5. The components of a force F with respect to a set of Cartesian axes X, Y, Z are Fx 25 newtons, Fy negative 37.5 newtons, Fz negative 25 newtons. Determine the magnitude of F and the direction angles of F. So for the direction angles, we expect that two angles are more than 90 degrees because two components are negatives. So we expect theta y to be greater than 90 degrees and theta z to be greater than 90 degrees also. Only the theta x is an acute angle. So for the magnitude, it is square root of fx square plus fy square plus fz square. So square root of 25 square plus negative 37.5 square plus negative 25 square. So even if it is negative here, the magnitude remains the same and affected because negative square is positive. So the magnitude of the force is 51.54 newtons. So from there, we compute the direction angles. Remember, cosine theta x is fx over f. So 25 over 51.54. So theta x is inverse cosine of 25 over 51.54 and that is 60.98 degrees which is an acute angle as expected. Cosine theta y is negative 37.5 over 51.54. So theta y is inverse cosine of negative 37.5 over 51.54 and that is expected more than 90 degrees. That's why it is 136.7 degrees. Same is true for cosine for theta z, which is more than 90 degrees. So cosine theta z is negative 25 over 51.54. So theta z is inverse cosine of quantity negative 25 over 51.54. And that is 119.0 degrees. So for next problem, it's up to you to check for the sum of the squares of these direction cosines. And that should be equal to 1. The direction angles of a 135 kilonewton force with respect to the x and y directions are 60 degrees and 140 degrees respectively. So the z component of this force is negative. So take note, the z component of the force is negative. The y component of the force is also negative because the direction angle with respect to the y-axis is more than uh, 90 degrees. Only the x component of force is positive here. Same is true with this uh, problem 5. So, determine the rectangular components of this force and the value of theta z. So, of course, the x component of the force is simply magnitude 135 cosine of theta x, which is 60 degrees. So, cosine of 60 degrees. So, fx is 135 cosine of 60 degrees. And that is 67.5 kilonewtons, positive. Fy is F cosine of theta y. And F135, theta y is 140. So that is, that is expected negative. So Fy is negative 103.4 kilonewtons. Then for the Z component, remember that it is negative. So we use the Pythagoras relations fx square plus fy square plus fz square equals f square. So substituting the values of fx and fy as well as f, 
So 67.5 square plus negative 103.4 square plus FZ square equals 135 square. So FZ square is equal to 2977.19 kilonewtons. So FZ is plus minus square root of 2977.19 because we have to bear in mind, we have to... Uh, be aware that it is given in the problem that the Z component is negative, so we drop the positive, we use the negative sign. So FZ is negative 54.56 kilonewtons. Then these are the rectangular components of the force. Then let's now answer the value of theta Z or the direction cosine along with respect to the Z axis. So cosine theta Z is FZ over F and negative 54.56 over 135 so we expect theta z to be more than 90 degrees because the component is negative so 113.8 degrees so again uh, you can check our answers by uh, computing the other direction angles and make sure that the sum of the squares of the direction cosines is equal to one or more or less equal to one for the next set of problems, here we go, problem 7. The X, Y, and Z components of a 35 kilonewton force are in the ratio 3, negative 2, as to 6. Determine these components and also the direction angles between the force and the coordinate axis. So, we note that uh, the component of the force is equal to component of distance times force multiplier where the force multiplier is the magnitude of the force divided by distance. So therefore, we use the equal ratios x component of force as to this distance 3, or uh, you may imagine that this is the x component of distance, then equals Fy as to negative 2 equals Fz as to 6 equals force multiplier 35 as to distance, where the distance is square root of 3 square plus negative 2 square plus 6 square. So Fx as to 3 equals Fy as to negative 2 equals Fz as to 6 equals force as to distance square root of 3 square plus negative 2 square plus 6 square. Or simply, Fx is magnitude of the force times its... Uh, component of distance which is treated 3 divided by distance which is the square root of this sum of squares of these uh, components of distance. So this distance is equal to 7. So fx as to 3 equals fy as to negative 2 equals fz as to 6 equals 35 as to 7. So 35 over 7 is 5 kilonewton per meter so the x component is component of distance 3 times force multiplier 5 kilonewton per meter. So 3 meters times 35 over 7 or 5 kilonewton per meter is equal to 15 kilonewtons. So that's Fx, 15 kilonewtons, positive. Then Fy is negative 2 times 5 kilonewton per meter, negative 2 meters times, times 5 kilonewton per meter, so negative 10. That's the y component of force. And the z component of force is 6 times 5. So that is 30 kilonewtons. Fz is 30 kilonewtons. Then for the direction angles, uh, cosine of theta x equals fx over f. So cosine theta x equals 15 over 35. It may also be 3 over distance, 3 over 7. That's the same, component of distance over distance, which is 7. So, theta x is inverse cosine of 15 over 35 or inverse cosine of 3 over 7. And theta x is equal to 64.62 degrees. Um, for theta y, it is expected more than 90 degrees. Cosine theta y is negative 10 over 35. It may also be cosine theta y equals negative 2 over 7. So theta y is inverse cosine of negative 10 over 35 or inverse cosine of negative 2 over 7. So 106.6 degrees. Cosine theta z equals 30 over 35 or it is 6 over 7. 
So theta z is inverse cosine of 30 over 35 or inverse cosine of 6 over 7. So that's 31 degrees. You can also check the answer afterwards. So that's the, the nice thing about uh, statics because you can always check your work. Problem 8, the direction angle between a force Q and the x-axis is 130 degrees and QY is negative 2 times QZ, the Z component of Q or the force Q with QZ positive. So take note, the Z component of the force is positive. So determine the direction angles between the force and the Y and Z axis. So we are required to compute or find theta y and theta z. So for the solution, first we have to use the Pythagora relations, qx square plus qy square plus qz square plus equals q square, where qx is magnitude of the force q cosine of theta x, which is 130 degrees given. So qx square plus qy square plus qz square equals q square. So substitute quantity q cosine of 30, 130 degrees plus qy which is negative 2 qz quantity square plus qz quantity square equals q square. So combining q square and this is 4 plus 1 so 5 q square equals uh, 0.5868 q square so extracting square root and take note that qz is positive so we drop the negative sign so qz is square root of 0.586 q square over 5 all over 5 so 0.3426 of q positive 0.3426 of q take note that the ratio of qz and q is cosine of theta z so cosine theta z is qz over q or 0.3426. So from there, we can solve qz at theta z, which is inverse cosine of 0.3426. So that would be 69.96 degrees. So likewise, qy is negative 2 times 0.3426 of q. So qy is negative cosine Theta y is qy over qz, uh, qy over q, and that is equal to negative 0.6852. So inverse cosine of negative 0.6852, that is expected more than 90 degrees. So theta, theta y is 133.3 degrees. So for to check our work, cosine square of 130 degrees plus cosine square of 133.3 degrees plus cosine square of 69.96 degrees, that would be more or less equal to 1 to check or validate our answers.